I'm gonna show you how to do a really simple grilled chicken dish with a beautiful salad full of zucchini, rocket, capers, and a lemon vinaigrette. It's delicious and you're gonna love it, but the good thing is it's super easy to make. Let's get started. What you need is some beautiful rocket leaves, and then over here I've just got some zucchini, some cherry tomatoes, a shallot, a lemon, some capers, and a little bit of white wine vinegar. Okay, so all of this stuff creates the flavour for the salad and then the chicken is dead simple. You just season it and grill it. But first we're going to pound it out and get it ready to cook. I've got a couple of beautiful chicken breasts. I'm going to show you a little trick. What you do is you get yourself one of these sturdy kind of Ziploc bags and put the entire chicken breast inside the bag. Using a mallet, you can just go ahead and beat it out. So once you start to flatten the chicken breast out, you'll see it gets bigger and bigger. So what we're actually going to do is use one breast for two portions. Okay, so once you've got it to like a centimetre or so thick, that's it. That's all you need to do. So just pull it out of the bag and do the exact same thing to the other one. Beautiful. Once you've done that, lay it out here and then in a minute or two, we're going to cook this on a really hot grill. All right, now I'm not going to cook the chicken yet because it literally just takes four or five minutes and it's done. All right, so first, get the other stuff prepared, get ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is make the vinaigrette. We'll start with an eschalot. So just take the uh, end off there, cut it in half, and then just using a sharp knife, you want to just cut down the length of the eschalot a few times, then turn the knife and just cut through it lengthways once, like that, and then you can just use the heel of the knife to go through and you'll get this sort of nice, finish kind of dice. Once you've chopped up your shallots, grab your capers. I've got the little fine ones, and I'm just gonna really roughly chop through those. So what happens to these little buds is they salt them, they preserve them, so they have that vinegary flavor. So I'm just gonna pick up my capers and my shallots, pop it into your bowl. A little zest of lemon. Get that into your bowl as well. I take the lemon, just give it a roll. All you're doing is you're sort of loosening up the inside of the lemon, so you're going to increase the juiciness of it. See what I mean? Look how juicy they are. Beautiful. Take the vinegar. I've got a couple of teaspoons of white wine vinegar. We add that in. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil. So you just pour that in and whisk it around. Delicious. Because of the saltiness of the capers, I'm not going to add any salt, but I am going to add a little bit of pepper. But taste, George, you might want a bit of salt. Always just season to your taste. Give that a mix, and your dressing's ready to go. We've got some beautiful rocket leaves, and to this I'm going to add cherry tomatoes, which I'm just going to cut in half. Chop those up, and then mix those in with your rocket leaves. And the other ingredient, which I love using as a salad, is a zucchini. So what you do with the zucchini is get yourself a peeler and just go right down the length of the zucchini. So just using a veggie peeler, you create these beautiful ribbons which turn into a really nice salad. Okay, that last little piece, we don't worry about. And then we start again. So you go right down, you get as much of that zucchini off as you possibly can. And then you take all of these beautiful ribbons of zucchini, which makes for such a nice salad, and you just mix it in there with your tomatoes and your wild rocket leaves. Just mix that with your baby rocket leaves. Once you've got that combined, time to cook the chicken. So the thing we do first is we season our chicken breast here with a little bit of salt, a little bit of freshly ground black pepper on both sides. This is one of those perfect affordable meals that you get home, you're in a rush, you want to get a good meal on the table, but you don't have a whole lot of ingredients at hand and this is just one of those perfect recipes. Okay, we've got a nice hot grill pan. Get a little bit of olive oil and just drizzle over the top. Same deal. Beautiful, time to cook. Okay, you get your chicken breast, you bring it over the hot grill and you literally just pick it up and pop it straight on. Beautiful. This is gonna cook for two or three minutes on each side. We take it off, we dress the salad, and we serve. So the chicken's just been on for a minute or two. What you wanna do is just have a little peek. See how we're getting those nice golden marks under the chicken? It looks beautiful. I wanna give it just a touch more. So just push it down, make sure you're getting a lot of contact with that hot grill. Once it's had a couple of minutes and you can start to see a little bit of the chicken here starting to change colour as it sort of starts to cook through, it's time to turn it. 
Now the last thing you want to do when you're cooking anything on a grill pan is overcook it, all right? This chicken breast cooks pretty quick anyway. Because we've flattened it out, it cooks even faster. So just give it a little touch. Make sure that it's cooked through. It should sort of feel like your thumb and your little finger touching each other. That's kind of well done, all right? So anything more than that is going to be overcooked. You don't want it to be rubbery or tough. Don't forget when you take it off the grill, there's a little bit of carryover cooking that's going to happen. So don't leave it on too long. Have a look at that. Beautiful. Pick my chicken breast up. Okay, so you take the chicken breast off the heat and you just give it a couple of minutes to rest. It was only on for four, so it only needs one or two to rest before you cut it. Take this beautiful dressing that you just made, give it a little shake, give it a little stir around, and then you pour, you know, half of that over the salad. Give it a wee toss. Now the only thing left to do is to plate it up. So you go ahead and pick up this beautiful salad that you've just made, pop it onto your serving plate, try and get a little bit of height into the salad if you can. Grab your chicken breast, and I'll just go ahead and slice through that. We're gonna use about half a breast per portion. Pick up that chicken, and you can just fan it around. And then with the leftover dressing that you've got, you just go ahead and pick it up and spoon it directly over the top and all over the plate, and you've got this beautiful, simple, simple dish that the family's gonna love. Da, da, da.